Hello everyone, welcome to Open Search YouTube channel. My name is Nikhil Agrawal and I am Open Search SME. In today's video, we will talk about how to set up alerts and threshold. Let's get started. Creating alerts using Open Search dashboard requires monitors to be created. There are five different types of monitors supported. Also, anomaly detection can be paired with alerting and that can be notified as soon as an anomaly is detected. The five different types of monitors which are defined is per query, per bucket, per cluster matrix, per document, and composite monitor. For example, per query monitors runs a query and generate alert notification based on the matching criteria, while per document monitor runs a query that returns individual documents that match the alert notification trigger condition. The next step is monitor defining method that specifies the way you want to define the query. Again, there are three different defining methods available, visual editor, extraction query editor, and anomaly detector. For visual editor defining method, it will require to run a query that generate alert notification based on the matching criteria. It will require both index and time field as data source. There are six steps involved in creating a alerting monitor with trigger. The very first step is to select monitor type, which is out of five per query, per bucket, per cluster matrix, per document matrix, or composite monitor. So once the monitor type is selected, then user will need to select the defining method, which is one of the three is either visual editor, extraction query editor, or anomaly detector. After the monitor type and defining method is selected, then user will need to define the schedule for the alert configuration. After the schedule is defined, then user will need to select the data source. The data source based upon the monitor type can either be index or time field or both of the fields. After that, the trigger condition needs to be defined. To define the trigger condition, the trigger name, severity level, and the trigger condition needs to be configured. After that, the last step is to add an action. For adding an action, appropriate notification challenge needs to be selected along with the message that needs to be sent once the alert is triggered. Now, I'm doing a demo on how to create alert using open search dashboard. So this is the open source dashboard that we are seeing on the left panel. We can see different options, including open source dashboard, observability, open search plugin, and management. And then on the home page, we see option ingest your data, manage your data. So to create alert and to really seeing an alert is being triggered, we will add sample data. So we click on sample data and we will add e-commerce orders at a sample data. So let's wait for a few minutes um, so that data is ingested to the open search cluster. Now the data has been ingested. Now we go back to home. So on the open search plugins, we can see alerting one of the options using which the monitors can be created. So we come in monitors. And now in the monitor page, we can click on create monitor. In the create monitor, this is the create monitor page where the monitor will be created by entering multiple input fields such as monitor name, monitor type, defining method, schedule, data source, and triggers. Let's give a monitor name to be alert monitor. Now we are going to select per query monitor. For the defining method, we will select as visual editor. For schedule, 
let's select to run monitor every one minute certainly the value can be in hours or days but from demo purpose we select to the smallest value which is one minute now after selecting the schedule we will need to enter the data source for data source we have to select index there are three possible values available so we will select open search dashboard sample data e-commerce as one of the indices and now we have to select time field for time field again there are three different values available customer birth date order date and products created on so let's select order date and the hour so in the hour we can again select a range of minutes hours days and we are going continuing with one hour so in the query performance we can see that the number of document that has been fed in last uh, couple of hours is about six these are the number of document that has been fed now we continue and we need to define a trigger now we'll go and click on add trigger let's select, let's give a trigger name the trigger name let's give it alert trigger trigger level there are multiple severity as available highest high medium low lowest let's give this severity as the highest and then comes the trigger condition now for trigger condition it can be above below exactly let's give above and then the value let's give a value more than four that way there are multiple values that are going to qualify the trigger condition and this value can be modified we can call it more than five more than six let's go with more than four and now the trigger is defined now the next step is to create notification now for notification it it requires to create action name so let's give a name called as alert action and the channel now this channel uh, will show all the possible channels currently created in the notification then the notification alerting channel uh, using sns topic has already been created so let's select that channel and then this is going to be the message that will be sent on the sns topic it is going to include the trigger name severity period start and period end and by clicking the preview message button over here user can see how the trigger notification message will look like now after the message preview is been seen user can see throttling user can either enable throttling for how many minutes the message can be sent and being throttled let's go with the default value it will ask to create another action if user is requiring to have multiple actions upon when the trigger condition is met then user can define multiple actions and after entering all those values we can create and after creating monitor this is how the alert monitor dashboard looks on top it is showing all the different values it is a per query monitor visual graph it is here it is showing the index index name a schedule is every one minute it is also going to show monitor id the trigger name and the history of alert trigger now that we have seen how the monitor is created we can go back to monitors and it will show all current active monitors one other thing that i want to show is the notifications 
the SNS notifications that was configured in the monitor. So in the notifications, that's where any notification channel can be created. So to create a channel, it will need a channel name. Let's call it notification channel for alert. And then it will require the channel type. Now there are multiple channel types available, including Slack, Chime, Custom Webhook, Email, SNS, and Microsoft Teams. Any of these channels can be selected. For example, for SNS, it will require the SNS ARM and IAM role. But for a channel such as email, it will require sender name and the recipient group name. I hope you like the setting alert using OpenSearch dashboard video and it has been useful for your learning. Thank you very much.